All right, this is, I guess, not the official start, but aside from that first movie, part of Robert Williams' filmography, starting with Romance and Moscow on the Hudson. This is a very simple movie. They didn't really write a lot of notes on it. It's essentially Robert Williams, he's from Russia, and he has to move to America and try to fit in and adjust to how America works compared to Russia, essentially. Between all that time, he meets a woman, falls in love with her. I guess it's a romance movie. There has to be certain scenes of them being together, and I don't really care about that. I do wish that the movie was more into the whole like cultural differences between Russia and America and there is quite a bit of that just kind of wish the whole movie was that essentially but again it needs to be like a romance movie so you know give and take and they also think he doesn't have a family Russia or if he does he doesn't really like them and so he is in a I think African family I think he just meets these people and like hey can you accept me essentially and they're like yeah sure it's like what that was fun I guess I don't know him like in his interactions with like American and just like getting on that bus and looking around and then and that's essentially it that's what i got out of this movie just him trying to adjust to america and then love essentially just love you know because do you love me or hate me all that stuff that's really it not a bad movie not even all right i do think it's good but i guess i just wanted something more out of it based off the premise and i didn't get that but that's fine because it's still a good watch and movie dead again i was not expecting this movie to be like a mystery slash neo noir and thriller i just wasn't really expecting that the romance part is what is important in the movie in the end but the way that it's told between the 40s and then the present and how two timelines and issues connect with each other in the present day that was actually really cool and then robin williams is in only two scenes that first scene is very memorable of him he just said fuck off and was like oh hey yeah i know this person and that person and that was a really funny scene but this isn't his movie at all what are their names i think it's mike and margaret both in the past and present where i think one of their fathers get killed or margaret wants her revenge there's a very dramatic ending where everything's all slow-mo and then margaret gets revenge and kills frankie that i will remember for because it's so kind of dramatic that it just kind of took me out of the movie everything was a little bit romantic and you know very serious to have it end in a very dramatic way in slow-mo i thought was pretty funny and they also could not believe that they actually did the whole reincarnation incarnating thing i thought that was a red herring mike and market look the same as they did back in the 40s they're actually reincarnates same thing with boy named frankie girls up and then the twist i guess it is a twist but turns out that mike is actually margaret margaret reincarnated to be mike that was another like little cool reveal she finally kills frankie so this is a movie that's doing a lot it's a neo-noir it's a mystery romantic movie they're doing three things and somehow they do it well in this movie it's not an issue but it's still kind of jarring to be like okay this is a neo-noir part a mystery part and not romantic and somehow this movie didn't feel like a complete mess nine months movie's okay i mean i think it's got julianne moore i think that's her name and this guy her husband she wants to have a kid he doesn't because he's scared of commitment and that's kind of the whole movie of him being like yeah yeah, yeah. let's have a kid and he gets scared really nervous talk to his friends he doesn't want it doesn't want to stay committed he gets kicked out he goes meets robert williams i think he's a doctor or something something like that even chef goldblum he's like in this movie for a bit kind of weird just seeing him but this movie didn't do much for me the whole theme of it is commitment how scary it can be to just commit to one person throughout your entire life and if you are a person who wants to explore some things here and there then you know commitment's scary so that's kind of what i got out of it commitment is good or no or you know is it maybe depends on a person maybe if you just would have been very honest with her from the start this all could have been very much avoided but and now can't the movie over and over again be like i'm scared i don't want to commit that's really it since to wed so this movie the best part about it is robert williams he plays a pastor a very fun pastor because in church he teaches the kids about or not even teach just like play family feud essentially in church with like jesus and the bible and then him stalking this couple played by i only know john krasinski he's like stalking this couple being like hey i want you guys to have a good life a good marriage essentially so i'm gonna follow you guys around and stalk you that was uh well it is creepy boss so like big ass creepy ass van and listening in on radio or whatever aside from that and robert williams eh you know movies okay don't really care about this like couple the movie doesn't give me a reason as to why i should care or maybe that's just on me i just don't really care about it i want more of the uh, robert williams stuff and then oh yeah i almost forgot there's these like twin dolls looking thing that shit look creepy as hell i forgot the context of it as to why it was there i think it's this couple wanted kids but still it was creepy just seeing that shit 
And the final movie, The Face of Love. This is actually a pretty good movie about just not being able to move on, being stuck in the past. Nikki lost her husband and obviously she's having a hard time grieving through it. She has a daughter and so five years pass, she's all alone and you can tell she's pressed again very much lonely that has her daughter and her daughter is also dealing with it as well until she meets a man that looks kind of like her dead husband and so she goes on this adventure of like stalking him trying to find him and her does not be able to move on this loss of her husband is such a big loss to her that she can't move on she's stuck this guy that looks like him is tom his name is tom he's an artist he draws paintings and whatnot and the only reason she goes after him is because he looks like her husband that's really it you know this could have been like a what if he was a bad guy which he isn't he's actually like a nice dude but this movie could have been that it could have been this very romantic like love story tragic story and then all of a sudden he's a killer or something crazy shit and then nikki doesn't even tell her daughter or her friends because she's afraid that they're gonna you know take tom away from her because she sees him as her husband she even calls him a different names being like wait i'm tom she eventually shows tom to her daughter and she freaks out she's like get away what the hell is this and tom's confused and obviously she hasn't moved on from her father just yet eventually tom figures out hey do i look like him and you know whatever not telling her friends and daughter being selfish being like hey just let me have this let me be happy and then there's this like beach scene where i think she wants to like kill herself essentially but then tom saves her time moves on and tom dies from a heart condition but he has a painting of i think her just kind of remembering her essentially and then that's how the movie ends robert williams is only in like a little bit in the movie he's the nice neighbor next to nikki he's just like, a good neighbor essentially thought what is his role okay never mind he's just a really good neighbor that's really it so yeah this movie is really good in terms of loss grief not being able to move on and being stuck in your old ways or keeping secrets from everyone because you don't want to lose what makes you happy essentially and that was it for robert williams romantic movies or romance it was fine the face of love and dead again are the only ones that i would rewatch probably moscow's like a fun movie but then nine months and the license to wed whatever don't care about those so that is it for me this has been the road so far and thank you for watching